Hi everybody, this is Dave with Holistic Health and Fitness. So I just finished another blog and podcast for you this week and it was on understanding that there's going to be some uncomfortableness when you're making big changes in your life. And the reason for that is, is anytime something is new and if you have a big dream, if you're deciding, you know what, this is the year I'm going to get healthy, this is the year I'm going to start eating better, this is the year I'm really going to start finding some joy and some love and some peace in my life. This is the year that I'm going to start a new career or I'm going to move across the country and start a whole new life. Whatever it is, because it is different, there is going to be uncomfortableness with it. So it doesn't matter whether it's something really amazing and wonderful and exciting or if it's something like, oh gosh, I really wish I didn't have to go through this or do this, but I need to. There's going to be uncomfortableness. So what I want you to understand is where the uncomfortableness is coming from, because once you understand that, then you can see that you don't have to be afraid of it or worried about it or even let it affect you in your decision making processes. So remember, we've talked in the past about your self image and your self image is the image that you hold of yourself in your subconscious mind. So all the thoughts that you have, or a majority of the thoughts that you have, and how you feel about things, how you perceive things, the way you act and feel throughout your day, a lot of that is just based on the conditions of who you know yourself to be, which is your self-image. It's a blueprint, it's an autopilot that you've actually created yourself through your thoughts and your feelings and your beliefs and your values. You've said, believe it or not, this is who I believe myself to be. This is how I believe that I react or respond in these situations. This is how I feel about money. This is how I feel about starting a new job and that it's scary. Or this is how I feel about the economy. Or this is what I hear all the time. And so you've accepted these things as beliefs, even if they're not really true. You've accepted them. And so that is what base, you base your conditions on or how you perceive everything in your life. And so that is kind of holding there. It's your autopilot. And now all of a sudden you come along and you say, even though this is who I believe myself to be, I'm going to now get healthy and I'm going to create a really amazing life and I'm going to create this career that I've always wanted and I'm going to start this new job and I'm going to marry this amazing person. But because it's different from what you're used to, what you believe yourself to be, your habits, it's going to set up conditions that are going to conflict and the confliction comes from or the conflict comes from knowing yourself to be this but wanting to become this and so they're they're in contrast from one another and even if this is so amazing so amazing and exciting and filled with wow this is going to still set up that uncomfortableness of saying but this is all i know myself to be so you want to start understanding that that's all that is. So when you're feeling doubt and you're feeling fearful and it's setting up anxiety and stress in your life because of a decision that you're making or have to do or something new you have to start, that's all that is. So don't let it affect you. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. You want to get healthy. You want to get fit. You want to have this amazing body that's radiating all this health, this virility, this vitality, this wow, this youthfulness. And you want this really incredible life of a deep sense of love for yourself and the world and everything that you do in life. You want to find this deep sense of inner peace because that's really all we're ever looking for is that. Understand that by embracing that, you're going to make changes in your life. And those changes are going to be different from what you're used to, your habits of how you are right now. And so that's going to set up that little bit of resistance and friction or what we're calling uncomfortableness. So now that you know that that's what that uncomfortableness comes from, you don't have to let it stop you because what most people, that uncomfortableness comes in the form of thoughts which say, Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, that's going to be really hard. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to make all this money before I can do that. Uh, I really want to start my own business, but oh my gosh, I'm not really sure how. What if I fail? 
All those thoughts are just coming from the old belief system that it's trying to keep you here and stop you from coming up here. But the only reason it's trying to stop you is because it doesn't know any better. And so it sets up this uncomfortableness of saying, please don't do that. I'm uncomfortable with this. I really don't know what it's like. And then I don't know. And so don't. But you know better. You know how much more amazing your life will be when you're radiating this health, this fitness, this well-being. When you start that new career, when you decide to, yes, I'm going to marry this person, have this amazing life with them, whatever it is for you, traveling across the world, leaving everybody that's home and starting out on my own, whatever it is for you, if it's different from the way you are right now, you're going to have some uncomfortableness. Embrace the uncomfortableness, knowing that it's the steps that you're going to take that create that uncomfortableness that are actually taking you to where you want to be. So be happy in your uncomfortableness. Be happy, in a sense, in the fears that are coming up. And realize, as they say, that the only fear that you're really fearing is fear itself. It's the unknown. But as soon as you step into it, the unknown becomes known and you don't fear it anymore. Right? As soon as you do something, you go, oh, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. But you're only saying that now because you've done it. <laughs> so just... Assume that you've done it. Step into it. Be bold. Be brave. Embrace your potential to be this amazing person. And embrace that uncomfortableness. And know that every time you're feeling uncomfortable, it's only because you're becoming more. You're stepping into being more. And it should be your goal to stay uncomfortable. Because if it's your goal to stay uncomfortable, it means it's your goal to keep growing into more than you are right now. So no matter what level you're at along this way, you can be more. So I encourage you right now, no matter who you are, no matter what level you are in life, no matter how much you may have achieved or have not achieved, you can be more. Decide what it is you want to be and go after it and embrace the uncomfortableness. And know that the more uncomfortable it is, the more amazingly you're growing towards what you want to become. All right, so I hope that helped. Now remember, the podcast you're going to find on iTunes. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please go to iTunes and subscribe to the podcast, Holistic Health, Vibrant Life. And then once you've subscribed and listened to the podcasts, please do me the biggest favor and review and make a comment or rate those because that helps me know what you want to hear more about or how you feel about what we're talking about. So it'll help me create more and more of what you're looking for. All right. And we can keep this conversation going. If you want to learn more and more about health and fitness, absolutely. Then let me know if you want to know more about this self -develop development and spirituality aspect of who you are. Let me know that because I do all of that with my clients and through the podcast. So I consistently want your input so that we can grow this and grow this and grow this into what you want for a library for health, wellness, and well-being, and what I can give and offer you on that level of health, wellness, and well-being. All right. So again, this is Dave Fursilli with Holistic Health, Vibrant Life, the podcast, and Holistic Health, and fitness or holistichealth-fitness.com, the website. And I wish for all of you a vibrant life. Take care.